Hello everyone, Tyler with Diesel Laptops. Talking to you today about the brand new version of DTC Solutions version two. The old version we've had for several years, it was time for a facelift, time to get up with the technology. So we've done a couple things with it. So besides the fact that it looks all new, everything is now touch screen friendly. So those of you that run a tablet system, you'll find you can do all the swipes and gestures that you normally can do. So it's much easier to navigate through. We also made the fonts a lot bigger and the columns a lot taller and wider. So you can now easily look and touch and navigate through what you're trying to do. Furthermore, with this version, we've also added a ton of new modules and a ton of new pictures. In all, there are over 100 new modules. Uh, about of those 100, I'd actually say about 10 of those have been updated with some better information. So some of the big ones in here that were missing that are now available, go to International, you're now going to see we have the old DT-466 stuff in here that was missing. And somehow we had missed the Max Force 15 when we had gone through this one the first time. So both those guys are now in here. Uh, we actually added some Thomas Bus specific codes. Uh, we ran across those, so those are all in here now for your Thomas Bus users. We added some of the old Allison stuff. So the Allison WTech 2, the really, really old stuff, is now in here as well. So there's the WTech 2. We went through and added a ton of Dodge. Now that our Texa tool does Dodge Cummins engines, we had to add it to DTC Solutions. So there we go, Dodge, and you'll see basically from 06 through 17, Pretty much every single module, not just the engine, is covered in here now. You'll find everything that you're looking for in terms of your codes and your repair information. We have also gone through and added a bunch of more information for Fuso. So previously we really had nothing in here for Fuso, except we had some canner stuff. Now we've added the FE and FG series. The Hino software has also been upgraded. We now have the JO8E and the class four and five information in here as well. Isuzu also got added in here. Uh, the you know little four cylinder engines and the six HK1 from Isuzu are in here. The Mac and Volvo, we have found that there were some new engines out from Mac and Volvo, or not really new engines, but the codes had changed with the later model stuff. So now there's one in here that says all engines, 2017 emissions. And if you click on that guy, you will see it is a monster table of literally hundreds and hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of codes. They are definitely all in here. All the information you need to try to figure out how to fix your trucks. Sprinter was the other big one that's come up lately. We had a lot of customers with Sprinter trucks since we do have diagnostic tools that cover that. So Sprinter, we now have a couple of them in here. More of them are on their way with the next version due out in the uh, late winter. The Wabco ABS hydraulic system was another one that we were missing. So Wabco, we got the C version hydraulic, the E version hydraulic, the D version hydraulic, and so on. So that's all been added as well. So tons of stuff in here. Uh, over a thousand, um, actually I'd say about 1500 more pictures were added. We already got about another 5,000 queued up for the next release as well. So if we go to Cummins and let's pick the ISB CM850, and just click on any of these codes, you will now notice there are pictures available for all the codes that are listed in here. So if you go through any of these and pick any of them, you'll, you'll find your codes. So besides the fact that we added a bunch of pictures and codes, this new version has a couple other nice features. So far, you can actually sort and reorganize. So if you wanna move columns around, you can easily just do that as well. And if you get a little confused here, hit the reset button and you're kinda of right back to where you were. So beyond that, adding that in there, we also improved the search. We found customers were kind of confused. We would make them previously pick which field they wanted to search by. And we decided just to simplify that and just type it in up here what you're searching for. So we'll just type in 102 and you'll see all the fields will start to filter down on exactly what has the 102 in it. So 102, 102, 102, 102, and so on and so on. So it searches all fields, even the ones you don't see, like the description fields are in here as well. It searches through. So all in all, we feel like we've done a great job with this new version. Uh, keep staying tuned. We are going to be having off-highway added to it in the next version as well. We've really grown our team here on the number of people we have on this project. And uh, updates will be coming fast and furious. So there you go. The overview on the new version of DTC Solutions version 2. Thank you for watching.